Welcome to this introductory video on the code checker for MATLAB. In this video, I will explain how to check one of your MATLAB files with the code checker for MATLAB and how to use the results to increase your coding guideline compliance. If you haven't obtained the tool yet, just head over to our website at monkeyproofsolutions.nl. After installation, go to the MATLAB command window and call monkeyproof.cc4m.start to open the graphical user interface for code checker for MATLAB. Upon first use, a shortcut is created in the Quick Access Toolbar. This allows you to open the user interface without having to type the start command. Here's the user interface of the code checker for MATLAB. It has four tabs. In this video, I will discuss the first two, so the general and the configuration tab. On the general tab, you can select what files to check. We first select whether we want to check a file, the files in a folder, or the files in a MATLAB project. Let's select a file. We can see some controls popping up that let us further specify what to check. By default, the file you have opened in the MATLAB editor is selected for checking. Let's select another file. You can also select multiple files at once. As you can see, the selected switch here is set to Browse now, indicating that I am no longer going to be checking the active file in the MATLAB editor. We'll leave the other options disabled for now. Before I'm going to check this file using the Run button at the bottom, I want to define what guidelines to apply. For this, we can switch to the Configuration tab. On this tab, I can select the set of configurations that will be used to check the file. The many checks of Code Checker for MATLAB can be configured so that they match the guidelines you want your code to comply with. For example, you can configure what casing must be used for the names of your classes. More information on configuring the checks to your liking is given in the documentation available through the About tab. By default, a set of configurations is selected that reflects the Monkey Proof Solutions guidelines. For now, we will stick with this set of configurations. All guidelines have a priority attached to them. The checkboxes below the configuration selection allow us to specify the priority of the guidelines I want to check. Let's check the guidelines that are mandatory or strongly recommended to comply with. Now that we've selected a file to check and a set of configurations to use, we are good to go. After a few moments, the file is checked and the results are presented in a report that is also stored on your computer. It says that four violations were reported for the file that was checked. Let's see what they are. For quick navigation of the report, you can use the summary. Here we can see, per guideline, a brief description and the number of violating files, one in this case. If we click the guideline identifier, we are taken to the detailed results for this guideline. This shows more information on the configured values for this guideline. The result says that I have used a semicolon at the end of a line that is followed by a white space. Let's check it out. The file is opened in the MATLAB editor at the position of the violation. As you can see, there is an unnecessary space after the semicolon. I will remove it and look at the summary in the report again to see what other violations were reported. It seems an operator was not surrounded by spaces. Now I could fix this manually. However, for some checks, the violations can be fixed automatically by the push of a button in the report. I simply click the button and the violation is fixed. If we look at the file now, we can see that the multiplication operator is now surrounded by spaces. Let me quickly fix the other violations now. When we return to the top of the report, we can use the rerun all button to perform the same checks again. Now we can see that for these settings, no violations remain and I now comply with the selected guidelines. So to recap, open the user interface with the shortcut or the start command, select the file or files you want to check, select the set of configurations you want to use, and then run the checks and use the results to improve your code. For more information about the code checker for MATLAB, visit monkeyproofsolutions.nl. You can also get a free 14-day trial license there if you want to try it out. Thanks for watching.